Dheeraj asks, how can we measure the compounding effect in case of SIPs? Oh, <clears throat> just set up your portfolio at Value Research Online and what we give you is the internal rate of return for the cash flows. Uh, because uh, computing your compound interest is very simple when you invest lump sum. If you invest 1 lakh rupees and if that becomes 5 lakh rupees in 20 years time, you can just put the formula of compound interest. The compound interest calculation for your periodic investment becomes complex because if you are doing a 10,000 rupee SIP and you take a look at the return five years from now, your 10,000 rupee was at work for five, five years. Your next 10,000 rupee was at work for four years, 11 months, so on and so forth. Your last installment of 10,000 rupee was at work for only one month. So you have to compute interest, you know, you have to compute the worth of all these investments and then do a internal rate of return that aggregate basis, uh, assuming this was your deposit and the, based on the sum total of the terminal value, uh, what, what it translates into. So value research portfolio tracker gives you this return on the, uh, on the dashboard of your portfolio tracker once you put all your transactions. You can also automate your transaction. You can upload your account statement and all these transactions will be absorbed and you don't have to really type in all the transactions. You can also set up your SIP. It requires two, three fields that you have decided to invest this much rupee in this fund starting from this date and the, you will be doing it for 60 months, 120 months or you know for perpetuity and at what periodicity you will be doing it and value research online, the portfolio manager takes care of it.